In today's video, we're going to be installing Windows 7 to a USB flash drive. So let's get started. We're not going to be using any kind of VM or screen capture, we're going to be using real hardware, and for today's video we'll be using the old Optiplex 390 as well as Windows 10. Now for this we're going to use a 16 gig 2.0 flash drive. Uh, it's just what we have on hand, but uh, using a 2.0 will give us the best compatibility. Also, we're going to be using a Windows 7 ISO that we've already downloaded. And lastly, we're going to be needing a uh, special program from the internet called Win2USB. So let's download it. So in the search, we're just going to type Win2USB. So for us, it's the very first one. So we're going to go ahead and click on it. And uh, there's all kinds of information on this page about the software and uh, other softwares. But for us, we're just going to go ahead and download the free version, which is 4.1. With the download complete, we're going to go ahead and click on our downloads. And we're going to go ahead and open up the file. Uh, this is an executable, so you're going to have to install it as it's not portable. So... We're just going to accept all the defaults. With it all installed, we'll go ahead and close out of all this. So we'll go ahead and open up the program. And it may open up your web browser, but just go ahead and exit out of it. Just checking for updates. Go ahead and click OK. And uh, right up here at the top, we're going to select our image file right here are Windows 7. We'll click open and we're going to select ultimate 32-bit. Select next. We're going to go ahead and put in our flash drive. We'll refresh the list and there's our uh, SanDisk right there. This is just telling us that it's going to delete everything on it, so we'll just click yes. This may take a moment, so we'll just go ahead and fast forward. Now that the format's complete, it just gives you a quick overview of what it's going to do to the USB, so we'll click next. Uh, this could take some time, so we'll just go ahead and fast forward. Let's just turn this so we can see our flash drive a little bit better. There we go. All right, with that complete, our USB is all set. So all we have to do now is uh, shut down this computer and reboot to our flash drive. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. So uh, for us, our uh, boot menu key is F12. So we'll go ahead and start hitting that right now. And uh, we're going to come right down here and we're going to select our USB drive. And 
there we go. We got Windows 7 booting right up. Uh, this may take a little while as uh, it is like the first uh, Windows boot, so we may just fast forward. Okay, right here we want to make sure that we reboot from our USB so it doesn't mess things up so we'll hit our uh, boot key F12 and we'll come back down and boot from our USB again if you don't do that you'll boot into your normal uh, hard drive and you'll miss it Right, just like a fresh install, we're going to have to put in some information here. And there we go. Running Windows 7 off our USB. Uh, we don't have any drivers installed, so we can't go online or anything, but we're going to take a quick look at our disk management to take a look at our hard drives. It shows our Win to USB flash drive right here, active and primary, and a system partition. So let's exit out of here and go to computer. And again, it shows our Win to USB as our C drive and no longer our Windows 10 drive. And that's how you install Windows 7 to a USB. Knowledge is power.